So the next part here in settings is the enable cache setting. So what happens is uh, if you are ask, if you are having a lot of custom functions within your Google Sheet and you want to refresh them all, all at once, you can uh, reach the API rate limit. And also it, you can incur more cost with uh, functions being refreshed uh, periodically. So this feature, enable cache, is when you when you enable it, what happens is we store the request and the response within your spreadsheet for about six hours. And so if you call the API with the same prompt, it will get back to you with the same response that was delivered to you earlier. So let's do one more. And make it uh, so okay so it's giving similar responses but different responses now we we'll, what we'll do is we'll enable cache okay uh, let's remove this one and get one more okay now we've enabled the cache now and cache is enabled so if now we ask the api after enabling the cache it will get you the response from the api but after that if you call it it just it should give you the same result back as you can see the same result is back so it's not going to the API anymore. It's just giving you back from the cache itself. So uh, now if we disable the cache again, cache is disabled now. Now we call it. And it's, give, give, it's giving you different responses. Okay.